everybody! Welcome back to my channel. You have Tasha Y. Miller here, and today we're going to be talking about how do I know if I'm a writer? So I do have to say that these may be a little different than a lot of people because I am not your typical writer. I didn't start writing when I was super young. I didn't even start reading till end of high school. So this isn't going to be your typical, you write forever, that's how you know you're a writer. Number one, you have a story in your head and no matter what you're doing and no matter where you're at, it kind of connects to your story. When you're at work, you kind of think, what would your character do? Or if there's some situation, you're stuck in traffic, you're thinking about this story, you're just developing this story and you don't really understand, like, what what is this for me I didn't really know in all of my life I've loved to dance and when I dance I create these stories so um, I wasn't the one that would come home from school and start writing and writing and writing because I had these stories I would dance and my stories would come out so I did it a different way that's why I always say that I'm a fantastic storyteller not so much writer that's why we have editors, right? No. <laughs> Number two, we always describe things even when they're unnecessary. So this is what I mean. When you are sitting in Starbucks or any kind of coffee place and you see someone walk in and you look at a person and instead of just saying, oh, who's that? And going back down, your mind actually develops like, who is that person? Where'd they come from? Why are they here? What's their background? You know, uh, things like that. So it doesn't have to be with just uh, one person. You can actually look at a family or look at friends and start start creating this uh, world for them, even though it may not have anything to do with their world. Number three, you love reading or you just love the world that some books can create. If you are one of those that are like, I have to read, I'd rather read than watch TV, then you might be a writer. Now, I'm not saying all people that read books are writers. I'm just saying that when you have a passion for reading and reading becomes just a part of you, you can't do without. There's a strong chance that you are a writer as well. Here's an example. This is when I realized that I was a writer. My co-workers were playing a game and they said, would you rather lose your hearing or your eyesight? I said that I would rather lose my hearing because I could not do without my eyes and not being able to read. Now, I know there's, you know, audiobooks, all that kind of stuff, but just for that one moment, it went automatically. You know, that's just where I went. So that's when I realized, you know what? I am a book writer. <laughs> Number four, you create your own world. So when you're reading someone else's work, you are just creating your own world in their world. You would be thinking how you would be doing it. You'd be thinking about how this is going to end because your mind is always working that way. Like you have an ending when you watch something or when you're reading something because you're just developing it because your brain works that way. That's how my brain works. That's how I figured out that I'm a writer is I create stories within stories. So even before the book is finished, I start creating an ending. And this is how I think it's going to end. And a lot of the time it, it ends that way. Uh, there's sometimes when I'm like, whoa, no, she didn't. She went the opposite of what I was thinking. Number five, when you have a burning desire to write, to tell a story, to have everyone hear your story. That is when you're a writer. You don't have to have some special degrees. You have this amazing story in you, so you're a writer. You can always develop the writing skills by taking classes, by researching. There are two types of writers. So you have a writer that can do a research paper, can do a writing on anything that is nonfiction, and they can make an absolutely amazing essay. And then you have a creative writer that you don't have to give them really anything. And then they could just go and go and go and go. And then all of a sudden, some zombies. And then, uh, so they, they could just create something. Whereas the other ones, they have all this writing skills. And they can make an amazing um, essay, but they cannot 
write a creative writing story. I believe if you have the creative writing, you have the imagination, then you are a writer. Number six, you're okay with being alone. Now this is not about being an introvert or an extrovert. I am actually more of an extrovert. I love being on stage and I love being the center of attention. This is more about being alone in the dark or just at your house by yourself. You don't have to go to parties to feel alive. I, when I'm alone, I don't feel alone. I feel like my characters are with me. I feel like I'm in this world that I built, that I, uh, one of my characters are sitting next to me, or one of my char characters, <coughs> excuse me, are walking across, you know, just something, uh, believe me, I don't see him. I'm not crazy, I promise. I just, I feel like I'm always surrounded by people that love me because I created them. I know it is the weirdest thing in the world and maybe some authors are going to be like, this bitch is crazy. Now before I forget, I do want to talk about my book just a few minutes or a few seconds. My book, The Smokiest Grave, I wanted it to come out sooner. I totally did, but uh, life just got in the way and my grandma just passed and it is just not the time. I am shooting for early January now, so it'll probably be like January 5th to January 10th. 2018 is going to be great for everybody. All right, everybody, that's all I have for you today. Those were my six things that I think make you a writer. Well. It makes me a writer at least. <laughs> now go and leave me a comment down below and tell me what makes you a writer. Why do you think that you're a writer? It could be anything that you want. It could be things that I mentioned or it could be things that, that you figured out about yourself. Or you can tweet me at Tasha Y. Miller or you can go to my website www.toshawaymiller.com. I hope to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.